hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be building a simple application which is going to calculate simple interest for us so basically in this application what we are trying to do is that we are trying to accept some values from the user and those values are nothing but the values which are needed to calculate the simple interest so basically we are going to write some javascript code as well as some html code so as to accept and process the values and then finally calculate the simple interest on the values which are given by the user so let's go ahead and type some code so basically the first thing which we need to do is we need to go into the body tag and we need to add some text boxes so as to accept the user input so the first thing which we want to accept from the user is going to be the principal amount so we type principal amount and in order to accept this amount we need to create a tag which is going to be the input tag so we go ahead and create an input tag so we type input and in order to refer to this particular tag or in order to refer to this particular input box we need to give it some id so in order to specify id to this input tag we type id equals and in double quotes we specify a particular name to this id so as in this case we are specifying the id for principal so we give it an id of p now please take a note that you could name the id anything but the thing is that you will need to remember the id name so that we could use the id in the javascript function so now as we have accepted the principal amount the next thing which we want to accept is going to be the rate of interest so we type rate and again we are going to create an input for it so we type input and then give it an id so let's give this an id of r and also we are going to need to accept the number of years so we type number of years and also we are going to need an input to accept the number of years so we type input id equals let's say n for number of years and then finally we are done with accepting the inputs now the next thing which we want to add to this layout is going to be the button so basically when the user has entered the values and when the user click the button it is going to display the simple interest to them so let's go ahead and add a button so we type button and on clicking this button we want to perform some function so we specify on click over here so we type on click equals and in this double quotations we specify the function which we want to execute now in this case as we have not yet written any function we are going to leave it as blank for now and then finally we are going to close this tag by typing slash button and in between these two tags we want to specify the text which we want to display on the button so let's say calculate now once this is done the next thing which we want to do is that we want to write the javascript code in order to calculate the simple interest by using these three values so in order to do that we go into our head tag and then we give the script tag so we type script opening tag and then the script closing tag and in between these two tags we are going to specify the javascript function which we are going to use in order to calculate the simple interest so we type function and let's name this function as calculate and in this function we are going to write the javascript code in order to calculate the simple interest so the first thing which we need to do is that we need to retrieve the values which are entered by the user so in order to get the value which is stored in this uh, input id right here we make use of the id so in order to get this id we type document as this particular text is present onto our document and now the text box is nothing but an element onto our web page or the document so we type document dot get element by id and by using this method we are going to retrieve the text which is entered by the user now the parameter which we have to pass to this function is going to be the id so basically in this case as we want to extract the value which is stored over here we give the id as p so we specify p here and then finally when we have retrieved it we want the value which is stored in it so again gi we give a dot and then type out the value 
So this code right here is going to extract the value which is stored in the text box whose ID is P. So once we have retrieved this, we need to store it in something. So we create a new variable P for storing the principal and we equate it to this so that the value gets stored into the P variable. Now once this is done, we are going to do the same for the rest of the two inputs, which is the number of years and the rate of interest. So we simply copy it and paste the same code over here and we are going to replace this p by n and this p by n for number of years and we are going to replace this by r which is going to give us the rate of interest and this by r so now once we have extracted all these three values from our document now the next thing which we need to do is we need to make some changes in our body tag so basically we need to add one more tag to our body tag which is used in order to specify the result so in order to specify the result, we use a paragraph. So we use the P tag for paragraph and slash P for closing the tag. And again, as we have used IDs for this, we are also going to use the ID for the paragraph. So we type P ID equals. And as this is going to display as the result, let's give it an ID of result. And now once we are done with this, the next thing which we do is we also get the result value by using the same function which we have used here. So we simply copy this, paste it over here and again use a variable called result in order to store the result. And you also make sure that you specify result into this ID field. And also you make sure that you don't have this value right here. Now once this is done, the next thing which we do is we need to calculate the actual result and then we need to store it in the result. So for example, if you want to store something into the result, which is this ID right here, what we do is that we use the inner HTML method. So in order to do that, we type result and then type dot inner HTML so this code right here is going to save the result in this paragraph for us. Then we type equals and then finally we calculate the interest and display it. So we could type this or we could type the interest is and then finally we calculate the interest. So we give a plus sign and that is because we need to specify the result and then in brackets we calculate the simple interest. So we type P multiplied by n multiplied by r and then finally divided by 100 so this is going to calculate the result for us so now once we are done with this code we simply save it now once everything is done one more thing which we add to this is going to be the br tags for giving line breaks so that the code is properly displayed when we run it on the browser so let's go ahead and give some br tags so we need a tag here and we copy it and paste it over here and one more over here so now once we are done with this, we save the code and we execute the code on the browser. And as you could see, here is our simple interest calculator. So we enter the principal amount, let's say 300 or 3000. And then let's say the rate of interest is 12.5. And then let's say the number of years is six. Now, if we click calculate, nothing happens. And that is because when you check your main code, as you could see right here to the buttons on click, we have not specified the function name. So make sure that you copy this function name, which is this calculate, you copy it and you paste it over here. So what happens is that when you click the button, this function gets executed. And in our case, the thing was that we have specified nothing over here. So nothing was happening when we entered the value. Now, once you're done with this, just save the code, minimize this, refresh your web page and then enter the values once again. So let's say the principal amount is 3000. Let's say the rate of interest is 12.5 and let's assume that the number of years are seven. Now, if we hit calculate, you could see that the interest is 2625. So that's how you create a basic application in JavaScript, which allows you to calculate simple interest. Now you could also perform other mathematical operations by using the code right here. So for example, if you need to calculate some value depending upon the user input, then you could design your own function. You could extract the values by using document dot get element by ID and specifying the ID of the input, which you are using. And then finally, you could store the values into the variables like this, and then you could calculate the result depending upon the mathematical operation which you want to perform on the variables and then finally print out the result to the user. So that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.